Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick and I'm here to bring you the latest crypto news and analysis. Today we'll be talking about Ripple and XRP as we do with most crypto and finance topics. With that being said, I hope everyone is having a great day or night wherever you are in the world. The adoption of stable coins is something we've been looking forward to. Rules for standardizing stable coins are being put in place. Governments are becoming much more open to stable coins. For example, the UK is one of the biggest countries moving forward with stable coins. But I'd like to go back in time a bit because this clip did come up again. And it's actually Brian Brooks talking about Ripple and how they're not trying to replace the US dollar. That statement is very important and I think everyone should pay attention to it in this video going forward. We also have from ISO 22, let us do it. Brian Brooks, managing partner of Avala Capital Group, says that Ripple isn't trying to replace the US dollar. Instead, it wants to change the way value is transferred. Because of this, its price is just as important as Google's price changes were in the beginning. The main thing I always try to stress is that cryptocurrencies are not money. The biggest misunderstanding in this whole conversation is the idea that if crypto isn't doing a good job of replacing the US dollar, then crypto isn't doing its job. I think we'll talk about this a bit today. Most of crypto is about replacing centralized banking. Cryptocurrencies that are values are more like stocks on the stock market. If you think there will be a lot of people on the internet, you bet on Google. If you think people will go back to the post office, you short Google. Still, it's not like a theory or more Ripple or anything else is trying to take the place of the US dollar. It's trying to take the place of the way value is sent, and we'll talk more about that later. So I don't think prices are that important. Google's volatility is more important to me, and that was great in the early days of Google. That's the point, and you know. I pay close attention to this and the price just like everyone else, is that right? Just like you, we want to see a return on our investments. We want to make sure we're making money, but at the same time, I don't think crypto prices matter too much right now, at least not to me. After all, we're investing in technology and I think that technology will be very valuable in the future. This is why I even touched on XRP in the first place. I don't think I've ever told you guys this, but the main reason I started investing in XRP was because I saw the problem for myself. For those who don't know, I run a design agency outside of YouTube and crypto. I've been the founder and CEO of a design agency for a long time. And one of the hardest things for me was paying people from other countries. When I need to send them money via wire transfer, I have to wait days for settlements. I'm sending five to $10,000 plus the fees on it because they are so much, it's around 100. Really, it's silly. When we really think about it, I saw the problem for myself. I started to learn a lot about XRP and what Ripple is doing and I stuck with it because it made sense. When you change the way money moves, businesses that send money internationally will understand. They will understand it and use it because it makes sense. But no matter what right now, things are starting to change a lot. In November, Michael Barr from the Federal Reserve called for strict rules on stablecoins and said that we haven't decided what to do about CBDCs yet. Remember Michael Barr? He used to work as an advisor for Ripple. He joined the Federal Reserve in 2022 and his main job was to come up with rules for cryptocurrencies and stablecoins. Besides that, we just recently saw Jerome Powell at the beginning or middle of the month. He confirmed that US legislation on stablecoins is almost ready. We have this down here. A source at Tuesday's meeting said we need a framework for stablecoins. That makes no sense to us, but we do know what stablecoin is, right? We know that laws are being made about stablecoins. In the US, it's almost here and it's happening now. Janet Yellen also said that the US needs better stablecoin regulation. She said that a federal regulator should be able to decide if a stablecoin issuer should not be allowed to issue an asset. In this case, she's telling lawmakers that it was February 6th. Again, around the same time that Jerome Powell is also making that hints. We are almost there with stablecoin legislation. She also thinks it's important for there to be a federal regulatory floor that all states must follow. And she thinks that a federal regulator should be able to decide if a stablecoin issuer shouldn't be able to make such an asset. I really hope this doesn't turn into, hey, Wall Street wants to be a stablecoin issuer, let them off the hook. But then you know a US company that isn't on Wall Street wants to start issuing stablecoins all of a sudden. It's against the law for them to be an issuer. I hope that's not the direction we're moving in again. I really hope that we're not, but you never know. Yes, things are changing, and you may have noticed that we've been worried about how it will affect banks. I had to talk to the chairman about this again today. It's funny because this was just recently talked about in October, stablecoins promote dollar dominance. And us interest then on February 16th, the governor said, stablecoins could boost dollar as global reserve currency. The AM on the XRP ledger is also almost passed. Now, why does that matter? Why is the EVM sidechain also so important for this? Okay, Panos wrote a great post about this because it seems like XRP's rule is only getting stronger since stablecoins are getting a lot of attention. Tokens that can't be used after clawback have been added to the AM. I think the EVM sidechain is the best way to bring big stablecoin providers like Circle and Tether into the ecosystem. Uh, 
they make the stable coins on the EVM itself, and then they can be linked to the XRP ledger and added to the AM. From my point of view, everything is connected. I believe this is also a good way to look at it. We even have down here another great XRP ledger related development is the EVM sidechain, which is expected to make it easier for people to use XRP. For the XRP ledger, and don't forget the XRP ledger already has some stable coins on it. Palau is one of the most well known, right? 17th of December, we got some new information about Palau's moving on to phase two of their CBDC, which I think of more as a stable coin than a CBDC. But this is with Ripple, and they've been very connected to the XRP ledger with this. We even have PSC, a digital currency that is pegged to the US dollar and uses Ripple's XRP ledger. It's the public XRP ledger, but this is one to keep an eye on because it's had a lot of success. This is great for anyone who wants to launch or issue a stablecoin on the XRP ledger with Ripple. This seems to show that it does work. It works very well. It works out really well. But no matter what, XRP's role in all of these stablecoin projects only grows as more of them happen. And it looks like stablecoin projects will only keep growing over the next couple of months, which I think is crazy. That in one month in February, all the way through this month, as time went on, we got more and more information about stablecoin projects. I mean, Jerome Powell confirmed that stablecoin legislation is almost ready. And then the Treasury said that the US needs better stablecoin regulation. Next, we have stablecoins, which could help the dollar become a more important global reserve currency. This is another Fed governor. Then there is the UK putting in place laws for stablecoin staking within the next six months. Then there's also South Africa, then Hong Kong, and these are just a few I found. There are a lot more other projects related to stablecoins are also going on at the end of the day. Uh, things are moving very quickly. I know you guys are sick of hearing me say this, but things are moving quickly when it comes to standardizing regulations and moving forward with stablecoin projects. This is all good for the US, which is also why we should watch that first video of Brian Brooks. That's where he talks about how Ripple doesn't want to replace the US dollar, but rather change the way value is transferred. What do you know? Now that the Federal Reserve is putting a lot of effort into stablecoin projects, there are still walls around stablecoin projects and stablecoins themselves. You can still find walled gardens there. We still need to deal. A way to settle anything of value on a clearing system of bridge currency is very important. And that's where XRP really shines in the world of stablecoins. What an exciting time to be here. I agree that many of those changes should be looked at because they are good for the XRP ledger. But they also make it sound like big stablecoin providers like Circle and Tether might come along. Stable coins trading on the XRP ledger would be great for the ecosystem. By the way, I think that once we have that, it will grow a lot in both volume and value because it makes sense. How useful is the XRP ledger for making payments and handling money? What an exciting time to be here. But please tell me what you think in the comments below. Definitely give the video a like and subscribe to get notifications. If you want to see more videos like this, check out NordVPN's big deal for the channel for all of you viewers. You can get this deal by clicking on the link I've put in the description below or in the comments below. They are giving away four months for free and a lot of other great things as well. The best plan for two years costs between $2.91 and $5.48 a month. If you buy four extra months, you can save a ton of money. $81 to $150 right now. When you choose the standard plan, you save more than $100 in just the first two years. Guys, with the ultimate plan, you save over $300. It's crazy. Okay, if you guys still want to check out this deal, feel free to use the link I put in the description. As it was in the